Hi everybody, it is Claire here and I'm bringing you another video today and this time I promise I won't cry. How about that? <laughs> I wanted to show you, um, I haven't done a planner video in a very long time and I also kind of wanted to show you my current journaling setup so I hope you uh, will bear with me and um, I hope you enjoy this little video. So I am currently journaling in this uh, DIY uh, Midori style uh, pocket size notebook that I made. This actually began its life as a coach, um, oh what kind of a, it's like a, it was like a coach um, a briefcase thing, but that's not what it was called. I can't remember what it was called, but it's like vintage from like way back in the 70s. And I really, really, really loved the leather. I love how it's already just had so much character to it. I actually made those water spots, whoops. But it just has, I hope I'm not, it just has so much character and texture to it. And I love the feel of it so much that um, when I bought it at the thrift store, I paid $3.99 for it. And um, at first I didn't think I was gonna make anything out of it. I actually just wanted to use it to keep my manuscript that I'm writing in. And um, after loving on it and whatnot, I decided, you know what? This would make a really amazing traveler's notebook. Um, because I do have traveler's notebooks, but I've been really favoring a more simplistic kind of notebook lately so I've kind of I've been selling or I sold the few chic sparrows that I have and um, yep yeah, but I'll get more about that in a minute um, so let me open this up and kind of show you there's not much in there it's really just my notebook but I absolutely love this leather um, it's so it's just so wonderful and scrummy and yummy and it's amazing and um, I put the little coach thing on there. Look how old that coach thing is. Like you can barely see it. I still have um, quite a bit more of this leather left. So I'm thinking about maybe making another one or maybe putting a pocket on the front of this. I don't know. But so far it's, it's small and it fits my pocket size notebook perfectly. And it's just so lovely. I just really love it. So. I got the the elastic from Amazon. At first, I went on to uh, Etsy and I ordered this uh, elastic from Illustring. It's called um, Claret, Claret, yeah. And I, because I didn't really have anything other than you know what it looks like on Etsy to go by, I thought it would be a really great match. Turns out not so much. So now I have. A whole like five yards of this claret uh, traveler's notebook two millimeter elastic so if you've got any ideas for what else I could do with this let me know because otherwise it's gonna just end up being something I have to declutter <laughs> and so I ended up using this um, just regular old brown elastic uh, two millimeter elastic that I got from Amazon in a large uh, like roll and it fit the bill perfectly. After I cut it, I um, used some leftover leather dye I had from way back in the day when um, I dyed my uh, Julio Campagna and yeah, I still have that left. And so I took around the edges and I just dyed right around the edges and I like how some of it, you know, got on the leather itself and it just I don't know, it just makes it look even more special to me. I really love it. Um, yeah, but I didn't do anything else. I didn't burnish the edges or anything like that. It's very simple and I like it that way. So inside, I'll just take it off here. It is literally just a piece of leather with my current journal in it. Nothing fancy at all. And this has actually been something I've been wanting to do for a very long time. 
I find that when I use my Chic Sparrow Traveler's Notebooks that I feel like I need to, to fill all the pockets and that if I'm not filling the pockets, then I'm not fully utilizing my Traveler's Notebook as I should be. Also, Chic Sparrow Notebooks are really expensive and it's just a, and it's just a, an expenditure right now that I just can't justify. So I have sold most of them. I still have a couple more that I'm, I said, gosh, like I had a whole bunch, but I still have um, my pocket size, my other pocket size that I was originally um, journaling in, which is a pocket size matcha. Um, that's nice and, uh, let me see. That's all nice and old and beaten up and worn in too. Where is it? Did I put it back in here? I don't know what I did with it. It's somewhere. But I'm thinking about going ahead and selling that one. And I also have a really old B6 um, that is in the original uh, Mr. Darcy and Buttered Rum. And um, of course, I beat the crap out of that one too because I use my, my notebooks and journals and and then I have a Colonel Brandon in A5 that I wanted so very badly. And um, I just hadn't been using it because I've been using my Galen Leather Folio for the longest time for journaling in my A5 notebooks. Um, so I'm kind of on the fence about that. I, I don't know about that one yet, but I know I'm gonna be selling my Matcha Pocket and my B6 Mr. Darcy. So what I'm journaling in now, I kind of jumped on the pocket bandwagon and I started journaling in these little teeny weeny sized pocket notebooks and I have to say I get what the fuss is about I really like it um, normally with a notebook like an a5 notebook it takes me about a month to go through and this is really fun these are really fun because it took me about two weeks to fill this little notebook up I'm not gonna like show everything but it took about two weeks and like one of my favorite things is when we're out with my kids and whatnot and they bring me little flowers and things. I always keep a few glassine bags in my, either in my backpack or tucked into the back part of my notebook so that I can just reach in and pull it out and put those little things in there that I treasure. But so I started, this was my first one. Was it? Yes. My first one, I started on October 1st, right after I had finished my last A5, which was that um, brown artist loft notebook that I didn't really like. So this is an Exceed uh, little mini journal from uh, Walmart. And it was less than $5. And this journal right here like hits the spot, spot on. Um, as you can see, like I watercolored in here and I used all of my inks, more watercoloring, just like really thick dark marker. I did everything in here and I never ever ever turned a page and saw, you know, and saw anything bleed through at all. Every single page just looked beautiful. Like I had just, I mean, like it was brand wonderful new. And I love that about these notebooks. So I finished up that one and this, uh, Lewis term I had in my collection for a long time. Uh, originally I was using this as a commonplace notebook and it wasn't because I bought it for myself. I was actually gifted this or not even really gifted it. She didn't want it. So she's like, here, you take it. And I was like, okay. So I saw it on my shelf. I was like, well, I should probably try to use it up. Um, so it started out and I was doing stuff and yeah, I was trying to learn to write in uh, Elvish. <laughs> But I, you know, I used it, I wrote in it and everything, but I got to the point about halfway through where I just couldn't go any further in this notebook. I, I'm not a, like a huge paper snob, but I really just did not enjoy this notebook. I didn't enjoy the experience. I didn't enjoy how the paper felt. Um, and I actually, and it was actually a bit too tall for my little pocket notebook journal traveler's notebook that I made and so I didn't I just didn't enjoy it um, but so I made it halfway through and then I archived it this is volume 12 <laughs> so 
that was volume 11. And so now I'm working on volume 13 and this is another Exceed journal. And I just started it the other day. And once again, I just, I really like it because the paper is just wonderful. And so once this is finished up, I have two more to go through. And like I said, I got these at Walmart for less than $5 each. These, uh, the small notebooks are 78 GSM paper. And of course they have two lovely little uh, bookmarks like all of the other uh, notebooks. Um, now their A5 notebooks are actually 100 GSM papers, so they're even thicker. But I find that even in these pocket notebooks, Exceed is just such a wonderful brand. But I did want to try something else. So I went crazy on Amazon and I bought one of these little pocket graph notebooks from uh, Zequins. And you can find them on there. Um, I, don't, I actually don't remember how much I paid for this. But um, I was really kind of drawn to the soft cover of it. I thought maybe it might be something fun to try out for my journal. Just a little bit of something different rather than the hard journal cover that I've been used to using. And when I fold it over on the soft journal cover, it feels even more squishy. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. But I am not going to use it until I am done with my other notebooks. Now I can't say anything about the paper yet because I've not even tried a writing test or... Did I? What the heck? Did I write something in here? I did. Oh, why did I already start putting a pen and ink log in here? Because I haven't even written. What? Okay, that's weird. Hmm. Anyway. So I am excited to try, and what's cool is they also send you this little, uh, they also send this little magnetic uh, page marker thing too, which I thought was pretty cool. Yeah, take that, Lewis term. <laughs> Just kidding. So anyway, so that's my little faux Midori, faux traveler's notebook. Um, thing that I made from this wonderful, awesome coach bag, and I really love it. And now moving on, I have not shown or done a planner video in a million years, and I wanted to show you what I am planning in right now. So I hope, am I in? Hmm, let's see if I can. Stay, okay, there we go. So a few months ago I took the plunge and because I was looking for more simplistic, more minimalistic and less expensive than Chic Sparrow, I purchased my very first um, Traveler's Notebook from Traveler's Company Japan. They were called Midori but now they're just Traveler's Company. I'm not saying Traveler's Notebook because Traveler's Notebook is, everybody calls theirs Traveler's Notebook. So I am still kind of sticking with Midori or Traveler's company, whatever. Um, so, yep, I got this a few months ago and it's already starting to bang up and look great. And this is a really great find. I have no idea what it says, so it could be saying something like your mom was a fart blower and she smelled like elderberries. I have no idea. But it was really pretty and it's super heavy too. And I found it um, in a thrift shop for 25 cents. And I said, it's sold! So, I'm going to show you my uh, not pretty, completely functional setup. So a lot of people I notice on Instagram and Pinterest, they all have these skeleton clips. And at first I was like, I don't want to use a skeleton clip because everybody else is using one. But it's the only clip that I have. So I'm using a copper skeleton clip, but um, I'm holding some paperwork that I need back here for a couple appointments coming up. And this is just my reminder, I have some phone calls to make. Then on my first insert, I have a picture of my family whom I love with all my heart. And this is a Chic Sparrow um, dashboard divider thingamabobber that you know, what it, you know what it is. So I put a little target pocket on here and I keep like a couple different things in there. Um, and then I'm just using, this is actually just a, um, one of those ones you can get from uh, Michaels 
in the traveler's notebook stuff and I'm only using it because it's what I had available in this size and I really didn't want to have one uh, insert for my monthly and one insert for my weekly because I am actually using everything well not that but I'm using it all and it's important for me to have it all and yeah I just and I wanted it all in one in one insert and I don't think that's too much to ask for you know travelers company can you please make an insert that has monthly and the weekly and one that would be super amazingly awesome anyways on the back I have some of the important information about my medications in case uh, something happens and my husband needs to take me to the emergency room stamps oh sorry uh, my cards to my car debit card, military ID, driver's license. This is my, <laughs> I did not prepare for this. This is my voter registration card. And my next little insert, oh, it's my sweet little, I, or Emmy, what's your name, kid? Emmy, um, another Target pocket. But this is my kind of hodgepodge notes section where I need to write stuff down and keep it written down for whatever reason. Um, and I rip papers out here all the time and stuff. Um, and then I have the end or the other side of this little pouch that had my cards in it. And I have some money and some change and a couple more of those glassine bags. And I actually have some band-aids because my husband always gets bit by uh, mosquitoes and then he ends up scratching them and they get really bad and they're horrible and then we'll be out somewhere and he's like, hey, do you have a band-aid? Well, no, I don't have a band-aid, I don't have my backpack with me today so I started carrying them in here so this one back here is supposed to be like my YouTube uh, notebook for you know keeping all my information together and thoughts and my video ideas and my expenses that I have expendicated and um, all that good stuff um, so there's that one and I only used the uh, Chic Sparrow uh, standard cover thing, their dashboard, for one of them, just my one in the front, because I have those two pockets and I like to keep my family picture up in the front. The other two are just as they are, just regular, because I don't, I don't wanna feel like I have to decorate my stuff anymore. I have kind of become very overwhelmed at the whole need to decorate all of my things um, it just I just don't I don't know it's just overwhelming to me now and I don't want to be that person and I want to focus and try to live a, a little bit more minimalistically than I have um, and so that's been like a real chore that I'm trying to do. I'm going through all of my stuff and everything and because we're moving soon, I'm like definitely, definitely decluttering and stuff and I wanted to try to declutter my brain and all my stationary stuff too. So I would love to show you like a little, my thing of lots of pretty stickers and you know, matchy, matchy weeks, but I really, it's not, so not that for me. It's whatever pen I happen to grab quickly and I write whatever down with it and then if I I was kind of like sick that week and I just laid in bed forever and um sometimes I'll use washi just to kind of like put in an extra piece of paper for stuff I'm doing or need to do um but yeah so this little thing in here, I think it holds, or it's up to, it finishes up in February. So after February, um, I'll look for a different insert that hopefully has monthly and weekly combined in it. And that's maybe it's better paper. Yeah, but right now I'm just using it up because I need to use it up. I don't wanna just throw it away. And nobody here around me, like Traveler's Notebooks, is so it would be useless for me to give it to someone because they would just not know what to do with it. Yep. 
So anyway, that is my current traveler's notebook setup, and it's working perfectly for me. Um, yeah, I like it. I can't remember where I put my ollie clip. Anyway, oh yeah, and this ollie clip is so stinking old. I got it when I first started with the whole planning because everybody had ollie clips, and I figured, like the peacock feather's so not my thing, but I was like, you know what, Claire, you need to use it until it falls apart, so. That's what I'm gonna do. Yep, so that's my, and this is supposed to be the camel color, which is crazy because I watched all the videos where people were saying that they were getting camel and it was just too, it was just way too dark. Um, and I kind of agree, I was expecting, you know, the lighter, um, like a lighter leather kind of camel, but that's okay. I'm not crazy enough or I don't like I'm, I'm not dying to send it back and get a new one so I'm just gonna beat it up and make it my own and all that good stuff so that is my current setups of what I'm using these are the only things I'm using right now they both travel with me into every single room in the house that I go in <laughs> because I can't bear to be without any of them especially in my journal this is more of a um um, a like a security blanket thing for me. I wish I would have thought of a really ingenious, you know, pen loop, but I didn't. But so far, you know, just sticking it in there is working okay. Um, yep, so that's what I have going on right now. And um, as I finish up these journals, I know a lot of people do like their pocket journal like flip throughs. Mine really aren't fancy. It's I'm trying to use up some of the bits of like ephemera of that I have collected over the long time too. I actually need to mark that page um, because I don't want to throw it all away, but it's not something I want to keep anymore and continue using. So I want to like shove it in places and use it and get rid of it. Do you see the huge difference in the size of the Exceed notebook and the Lush term? Yeah, I like these so much better. But anyway, that is it for me. I hope you uh, possibly, hopefully, hold on. Mm. Peppermint. I hope you enjoyed this video a little bit. Um, and if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I would really love for you to stay a while, subscribe, watch my other videos. It's, you know, they're cool, I like them. Well, I like them because they're my videos, but maybe you'll like them too. All right. Um, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll be back soon with more videos. Yay! Bye-bye. <laughs>